can become destructive. And so we want to learn in this message today, we want to focus on how to pull down or tear down the destructive emotions in our life that are aligned to thoughts in our heart that are contrary to Holy Spirit, contrary to what Jesus says about us. In Galatians 5, 22 through 24, we read, but the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. So here we have Apostle Paul teaching on the power of the Holy Spirit. And as the Spirit of the Lord rests on us, He will govern our actions. And we will begin to manifest certain fruits in our life. It's so wonderful that it is the grace of God that is doing this within us. Every single fruit of the Spirit is something you want and which is going to be just the opposite of any destructive emotion or a pattern of emotional dysfunction that has really caused great heartache in your life, has ruined relationships in your life, and unfortunately has built a wall between you and the Lord. Lies will deceive you and they will get you to think that the Lord doesn't love you and that there truly is a wall between you and the Lord. But I want you to know that Jesus died for you. And when he died for you, he tore down any wall of prejudice, any wall of separation between you and the Lord, and actually between all people. Because the Lord, when he died on the cross, there's something magnificent happened. It says that when he died, that the curtain that separated the people from the inner sanctum of the temple, the most holy place, that the veil was actually torn, not from the bottom up, but from the top down. And that signifies that there's no longer a separation between you and the Lord. The scripture also tells us in Romans 8, that there's really nothing that can separate us from the love of God. So even our past mistakes, the things that we regret in our life, those hasty, impulsive decisions that we've made that have really put us into destruction are things that we often rue the day when we think of them. Those things no longer separate us. Nothing can separate us from his love. The key is to focus on the spirit of the Lord, not on your flesh. You are to crucify your flesh. Anything that is hostile toward God, any thought that is not running with the Lord, you need to deal with it by pulling it down. And as we focus on the Lord, he's going to do a great work. And as we begin to become rooted in the love of Christ, something wonderful is going to happen on the inside. We're going to start to experience healing of our damaged emotions. And therefore, we're going to be able to pull down any thought that comes to remind us or any thought that's negative that wants to rule our day and rule our actions. We will have the strength to the divine power of the Holy Spirit to literally bring those things down so that we can walk in the peace and the prosperity of the Lord. So we want to pull down these emotions and we want to align with Holy Spirit. <music>